Hey guys and welcome back to a brand new video on this channel where today I'm going to be showing you guys how to ping someone on discord using python requests. So yeah let's get straight into the video. Alright so if you guys haven't checked out my first video on sending messages using python requests I would highly recommend going to check that out as a lot of this depends on you watching that first video and it will help you a lot figuring out how to do everything so yeah. All right, so the first thing you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna open your developer tools. You're gonna wanna go to network and check preserve log if you haven't done so already. Um, as I said, I would highly recommend going to check out that first video as um, it makes everything in this video easier. All right, so what you're gonna wanna do is obviously ping someone. So we're gonna ping my main account here and we're gonna go to messages. And as you guys can see, this is the message here because we are tagging this ID and that is the ID of my main account. All right, so we're going to open up our Python file here. We're going to import our dependencies. So in this case, we're going to import request because we are using requests for this tutorial. Next, we're going to create our function called ping person. And with the parameters, we're going to be using channel ID, user ID, message and token for authorization. Next, we're going to actually define our request URL. So in this case, we're just going to copy it straight from here. And that does include the channel ID as well. So we're going to set URL to this and we're going to put curly brackets there. We're going to format that to be our channel ID. Next, we're going to define our headers for authorization. So in this case, we're just going to be including authorization. So we're going to set header to a library and inside of this library, we're going to put authorization and we're going to set that to our token. As you guys can see down here, this is our token and this is in the request headers. Next, what we're going to want to do is we're going to create our data library and we're going to set it to what we see here. So we have our payload right here. We have our content. So we're going to create content and we're going to set it to this is our user ID, as I said. So what we're going to want to do is we're going to put a left arrow, then an at symbol. We're going to put curly brackets in there and another right arrow. And then we're going to format that to be our user ID. So we are posting this data to our URL, as you guys can see up here. Next, we're going to create the actual post request here. So in this case, we're going to be posting our data to that URL as uh, we defined it earlier. So we're going to set it to URL. We're going to set the headers to header and we're going to set the data to data. It is fairly simple. The way I made all the variables, we can uh, do this fairly easily. But um, the headers are for authorization and then the data is data. Pretty simple there. All right, next, we're going to want to print out our status code here. Um, just in case um, there is an error, we want to know exactly what it's coming from. So for example, if it's 401, it's going to be unauthorized. So that will have to do something with our um, authorization token. But yeah. All right, now we're going to actually want to test out our function here. So we're going to type in ping person. We're going to type in our channel ID. So in this case, we're going to be using this ID here. We're going to want to get our user ID. We're going to want to add our message and I completely forgot actually. So what we're going to want to do up here is in the data, we're going to add our message. So we're going to put curly brackets and we're going to format that to be message. So this is actually going to include our message in the content. But yeah, this is completely optional. So you don't actually have to include anything there. We'll just come out with just the tag and that's it. You don't actually have to include a message if you don't want to. Yeah, so we're going to have hey, and then we're going to put our token here. So in this case, we're going to just copy and paste it from our developer tools console and we can just put it in there and that off and bam. All right. Now, if we actually run this module, you can see that we got a 401. So that means auth unauthorized. So let's troubleshoot this real quick. So best guess is that we copied and pasted the token wrong. So it looks like we did do that actually. So if we go and remove this and actually put this new one in, I believe we did not copy and paste the N at the beginning. So if we run this again, we should get that correct. So a 200 error code basically means our status code basically just means success. So as you guys can see here, we have hay down there um, and it did go through. So what we can do with this, we can do a lot of different things with this. We can combine different functions, send different types of messages, but you can basically do anything with this. Just do testing, for example. 
if you want to do that, you can do that. Or you can even tag someone else. Let me just show you. Um, you can tag this account, for example, and it will tag myself, I believe. So as you can see, we just tagged the account that I'm testing on. So you can do a lot of different things with this function. Uh, yeah, if you guys have any questions, um, be sure to go join my Discord server down in the description. I'm always on there, so don't hesitate to ask any questions. I will respond fairly quickly. But if you guys don't want to join my Discord, you guys can just comment your questions down below. I will also respond on there. And if you guys have any requests for YouTube videos, don't hesitate to ask me because I am always open to creating new YouTube videos for questions that um, a lot of people have. But yeah, if you guys did enjoy the video, be sure to drop a like, comment, and subscribe for more content on the channel. Um, I do apologize that I haven't been able to upload lately. It is um, because of school, but now that I'm done with high school and going into college, I will have time to upload more videos. But yeah, drop a like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you guys all in the next video. Have a nice day.